Hey guys, welcome to our review of Kamen Rider Zero One, episode 23. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today, we have. My dude, welcome back. Uh, Michael is not here. He is dealing with some actual life stuff, so we're gonna handle the or we're gonna let him handle that uh, while we talk about your comments and our thoughts on this episode. So first up, our thoughts, Alex. I thought this was nice. Um, I did have some issues, but overall, it was actually. You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll go Luke. I'll I'll go medium here. There were some highs. There were some lows. Um, I want to talk about my positives first, though. And I think it. my biggest positive was uh, when um, Assault Wolf ran up to Zero One, grabbed his axe, turned it like. I don't know, did sort of like a martial arts thing, slowly turned the axe into his gun, pulled it away, and used it on him. That was awesome! Yeah. Uh, nothing, there was nothing of substance in it. It was just very well choreographed. Awesome use of the environment, the gimmick of the toy. Um, just... It, Oh man, it hit so hard, and I loved it. Yeah. Uh, ah, I can't, I can't. Oh man, that scene was so good. Yeah, um, one thing you can always kind of rely on for um, the assault wolf fights, just because like yeah. they always make for like the expert at shooting a gun. Like, <laughs> like he knows how to use that like really well. I mean, like yeah, uh -huh. sometimes he just like runs up the fucking gun like a moron, but. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, when it comes down to it, like, that guy knows how to, like, use the gun. Yeah. Like, especially when compared to, like, Zero when like, the other fighters. Like, he's way, like, above them in, like, yeah. in terms of displaying the skill. Mm. So, that was, that was great. For yeah. me, I felt like one of the highlights was, honestly, it's gonna be a little bit weird. But I really enjoyed, like, the... The characters, especially like the one that we got returning from the last one, the one that just wants to get like married and whatnot, uh -huh. found her like the perfect bit of annoying, you know? Uh huh. Yeah, that's fair. Like she just fit that role so much, and like the human gear for this episode, I just found him just be very entertaining. Like just the entire way, mm -hmm. not the entire way through. I felt like the forced, um. The way he had like a breakup with her at the very end was kind of forced. I mean, like I guess he did discuss it with, like easy and all that stuff, but it felt like uh, we got to end this episode, you know? Yeah, it, you know, strangely, this this uh, I don't even want to call it an arc. Maybe it was a continuation of last week's arc, but like this I would finished off it. pretty. Cleanly. Like, it was its own, I guess, self-contained episode. I guess I'm thrown off because we've been doing these two episode arcs for a while. And now that one just sort of happened on its own, I'm trying. I'm struggling to put it into a place. And I can't... I don't know. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm, I'm glad... I didn't want to have to care about the uh, tournament again. For a little bit, because yeah. like, yeah, I, I guess I'm I'm stale on it too, um, and I really hope this this sort of displays it like, oh hey, we're just gonna maybe in one or two episodes get rid of the rest of the tournament stuff, um, because I liked I did like the messing around stuff that they did, like oh hey, they set up a date, Thousands here. That was pretty great. <laughs> yeah. Um. All all of it had some very solid character interactions. Uh, Yua sitting there snickering uh, as he's getting berated by a human gear, no less. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He's... Actually, being like a character, not just like a. Stooge. I know. Like this is the first time I felt like 
she I, don't I felt know. I felt happy for her because yeah was, like because like she's know. just being used this whole time and felt like a peon and here she showed some actual agency yeah I thought you said agency I'm like oh obviously <laughs> <laughs> no like and my favorite part was like after that scene because you know we saw the the writer. Oh like no! Taking his head through, oh. and I'm just like, "Oh my god, is is <laughs> Yaiba gonna fight?" Oh, she is so done. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "There's way too many competent like writers, like yeah. in this scene, for her to do anything productive." And lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. And I'm just yeah. kind of like, Ugh. This is a joke, but like, can you guys stop? <laughs> I know the speed with which they toss her character aside is astonishing. I, I honestly didn't notice it until you brought it up, but she really can't win, especially against that penguin guy. I know, I know, zero one got in the way, which I do have an issue about—a very big issue. Uh, but, yeah. um. Yeah, it really sucks that they can't just give her a win anytime and ever. Yeah, and like, uh, even if she did get that win, it would just be like a pity win. Like, I, when she was like actually like winning, I guess, I was uh-huh. like, oh, look, like they actually decided to give her a win. And then she doesn't win that. I'm just like, god damn it. <laughs> it's, it's such a waste of what what is a very good suit and what could be a great character who is just relegated to background gags right now. And while I like them, I really want some more character stuff with her because it's got to be messing with her head having to deal with Thouser all the time. Yeah. Like, so, honestly, I feel like every time that she and Fu are in a scene, like, both of their characters are just, like, that much better because they just play yeah. really well off of each other. But... You know, with Thouser, like, he just kind of, like, I feel like he kind of, like, demotes everyone around him. Because, like, first off, like, he kind of forces that stupid tournament arc plot to begin with. Yeah. And he kind of makes Arto act in a certain way just to contradict whatever the hell he's saying. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever he's doing, Arto automatically is, like, doing the opposite. You know, like, right. so it kind of dumbs down his character. Easy doesn't really do anything unless prompted. So, there's that. So... Uh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's hey, my point there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to talk about uh, Arto's flippant use of that stupid power up, and the fact that he chose not to analyze it at all. What's happening? Like we're slowly degrading this character's choices um, over the course of this whole arc. Like, just something about this Thouser arc is really dumbing him down. And, like, it started with, um... I don't know what it was. It was, like, early on in the arc where, like... Oh, yeah, it it was... It was him being absorbed in this competition, in the tournament. So much so that, like, he was like, Oh, hey, what about the profit margins? We gotta win this tournament thing. That blinded him. I know he learned his lesson, but it really deserved his... It, it was not in service of his character. And then this episode, I get we have to have the, the... We have to show off the toy. I get that we need to show off the suit, but why did he pull it out when he knew he'd be endangering lives? And it feels like he's pushing his morals aside to... For no reason. For absolutely no reason. This fight, he didn't have to to participate in. These were some low-level human gear and, and raid risers or whatever. I don't understand why he felt the need to do all this. I mean, like, he can't just sit there and just, like, watch Thouser just kind of trash over human gear. It's like... He, wasn't, probably... he wasn't, like... He didn't transform. It was just Yaiba. I mean... Like, 
And it was a Raid Riser. It wasn't even the frog dude. He didn't have to show up. You could argue that maybe he could have showed up at the end. But I mean, he kind of did show up a little bit late. He didn't, like, immediately kind of gun out there. He knows he can't control it, and the fact that he didn't make any sort of progress... Well, he did make some sort of progress in trying to control it, but no progress in trying to understand it outside of just trying to use it. It's it's dangerous. It's reckless. And I, I don't think that that's who his character is. Like, not he's not so reckless. He still wants help from people, you know? And I feel like he should have thought it through, any amount of it through. Um, and I was really sad that uh, the show decided to do that. Yeah. Um, like, for me, I felt like when Bowser gave him the power-up, like, what? It was, like, last episode, right? <laughs> they should have answered why he gave it to him this episode. Like, why are we dicking around? Like, we only have, like, what, two of the, I guess, uh, well, the I matches mean... left of the tournament. But, like, that's, like, that's a really busted, like, power. Like, why would Bowser give him a power-up that's, like, so much, like, powerful I than know. what Bowser is like already like and he's just kind of like sitting there just taking the hits like he could have freaking died if like uh, Yaiba or um, Fuwa didn't come and stop him like yeah. like that's how out of control it was like maybe he's like oh he wants to die to like mm-hmm. show the world that like human gears are evil or something but just like that wouldn't make much sense because I feel like he's prideful enough to like not want to just throw his life away for something like that right and on top of that, at the top of the episode, the, they were clearly showing that his his driver was locked now. And I guess, you know, through context clues, I sort of got that he, Thouser did that so that, oh, yeah, that's your only option. You can only use that one. And presumably it was like, oh, hey, this is too powerful. I shouldn't use it. Therefore, I'm going to sort of back out of this. But... Arto clearly just uses it. And the entire point of maybe that aspect of the plan is just lost. So maybe it's it wasn't part of the plan to begin of the plan to begin with. I Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And the fact that like Arto had entrance like twice this episode, right? Into yeah. uh hidden metal. I'm just like, God that that is so like, did you not see the damage you did to the first guy? Yeah. <laughs> Around, like, you broke his glasses. Like, just yeah. imagine we're going to do the next guy. Like, break his freaking face. Yeah. I mean, he, I guess he technically hasn't killed anyone yet. But it is dangerous. I feel like he he still needs that wake-up call. I don't know why he doesn't see the danger in it. I mean, Fua so does. Like, so. he was yeah, yelling exactly. at it. And... Again, uh, why it's strange that Arto isn't taking that to heart um, because he does seem very responsible up until these last few arcs. Um, I don't know. It, it really sort of feels like we're 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 walking back a bit of his morality. I know he had a lot of uh, he had a lot of it going for the human gear in the early arcs, you know. Um, but yeah, just the the careless carelessness with which he treats uh, the others around him during those fights is kind of pointless, and I don't I don't understand why that needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. So that was my whole thing on that. Um, also, I really didn't like that uh, she ended up falling for the childhood friend in the end because that was really dumb and bad, and I hate that twist always. Yeah, and like he was just. I guess they're trying to justify it by her being as crazy as she is. But that dude, like, I... I He's a creep! <laughs> like, like, come on, like, why that incel? Like, <laughs> God, like, he was creeping on her so bad. I know! In the writer wow. form. I'm just, I was kind of disgusted. I was like, oh, this guy is so... I know! And on top of that, it's like, 
match said, "Ooh, best match at the end," and it completely invalidated all the matches he had, done, all the matchmaking he had done before for me. Yeah, I was like, "Wait, well, what?" Oh, so you know nothing is what you're telling me. I thought the plot twist was that he would be the best match. <laughs> I was just like, "What in the crap?" Yeah. Um, whatever. They're not. They don't exist after this episode, so I, I can yeah. move on. This is. Easily my least favorite arc. Um, yeah, I guess, again, it's one of those things where at the top of the episode, face level, I just assumed it was good in my mind, and then I actually thought Who about it. Who doesn't change for their friend's wedding? Like, come on, he's still wearing a <laughs> stupid painter garb. He's uh, it's like, <laughs> whatever. <sighs> Not that the chick's parents are there. Like, who the heck got her dress in that wedding? No, no, no. It yeah. was, it was, it was a simulation wedding. Oh, uh, remember? All right, hey, uh, Alex, did you, did you good, good for comments? All right, let's okay. do this. Um, we've got a brand new commenter. Oh, uh, wait, are you brand new? Let me, let me check because I know that we've had, we've had some, some new commenters before. Um, it owes the you... unknown. Owes the to... owes the unknown. <laughs> owes the unknowns. <laughs> no, yeah, brand new commenter. Have not seen you before, but thank you for commenting. Um, Yuki Miyazaki says this episode overall was good and sweet for the Valentine's Day. Although the oh, I forgot that it was Valentine's for that, so that makes sense. Although the conclusion of Ebby, uh, Yellow Buster, wasn't really good, but seeing Match, Blue Buster, destroy her hope of getting him to marry her is pretty funny. I agree. Yeah, um, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that makes me really glad. Uh, oh, what makes me really glad is that all the previous almost Humagear, uh, all the previous almost Humagear will showing up again, like Humagear actor from this episode. Oh, because we not often see one-off characters show up again after their mini arc is completed. I did not realize that the you know the dude doing the fake wedding. I forgot that he was the actor, which makes sense because he is an actor and he'd be acting out the. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for that. Uh, also, it looks like the carpenter and astronaut going to visit the Metsubojinrai.net hideout. Maybe they will try fixing zero one driver or make the new toys. I don't know. We'll see what they'll do in the next episode. I miss seeing Hirobi and Jin because they're so much fun to be around than White Coat Man. And I also hate eating Pringles. You're not alone, Alex. Oh, oh, go, go fuck yourself. You are not welcome in these comments anymore. Get out. You are gone. Uh, oh, wow. Way to make... There we go. Way to make uh, a, a, an enemy out of me immediately. <laughs> Good thing we have Old Faithful, double the unknown, who probably does like Pringles because he is a good person and leaves comments every week. Um, I almost read his Ryu Soul Brown comment again. Whoops. Wait, hold on. Please hold. Oh, wait. There it is. Yes. Uh, sad to see they are delaying the competition, which means this arc will last longer. Uh, I did like the change of pace of having a humor episode. Next week looks to be a super serious episode. Can't really figure out if the Raiders, Raider is going to turn out to be really evil next week. But so far, he seems to be the least wicked of the Raiders. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say the least wicked... Slightly benign. No. Nah, yeah, he is ugly. pretty wicked. This, yeah, <laughs> Penguin sucks. Um, yeah, so... I I don't know about that competition thing. I, I kind of want them to just sweep it under the rug. But I guess it makes sense uh, with... with um, uh, what is it? Yuki's comment that uh, it was just a short break for the the valentine's day something um so that might be the case and we did delay the arc which makes me very unhappy because i don't want that to keep going uh, i'm with you on that one um 
Man, that sucks. Hey, anyway, uh, thanks again for your comments. Uh, Alex, did you have anything else before we get out of here? All right, let's leave. Uh, as always, <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to hear more from us each week, tell us in the comments down below what you thought about our thoughts about your thoughts about this episode and Pringles, because I hate you now. You suck. Thanks for watching. Keep it juicy. Yep. See ya. Um, oh, man. No. No. Hold you, man. Absolutely not. We're not going off of one other person's opinion. Pringles are delicious. There's no way they would continue to sell if they weren't liked by many people.